Eucharist can be distributed in a number of ways. Those which are the standard ways of all the Western Church, the intention of the Eastern Church. People may come to the altar, people may pass. That is a local custom and up to the local church to decide. Part of that is a decision based on the number of persons who are in the particular chapel. A communion song is sung, preferably something that the assembly can sing by themselves without having to have music to carry with them if you have a large group. A number of the things from Tizay work that way. Eat this bread, drink this cup. Come to me and you shall not hunger. Eat this bread, drink this cup. Come to me and you shall not hunger. Things which are repetitive over and over again allow a centering to occur. But if in your parish singing a hymn out of a book works better for the people and gets them more involved, again, liturgy is the work of the people. What works best is right. The elements are consumed. replaced. You can clean the elements thoroughly if you have a deacon or an assistant. You may leave them to be thoroughly cleaned after the liturgy, covered with a veil. Once they are finished being cleaned, they would again be covered with a veil, ready, set up for the next liturgy. After communion, let us stand. Lord, it is always good that we give praise and adoration to your wondrous name. In your goodness you have ennobled our weak nature, that we might bless your name along with the angels, that we might partake in the mysteries of your gift, that we might find delight in the sweetness of your words. May we always lift our hearts and voices in praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, who are Father and Son and Spirit. One God forever and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Bless us, O Lord. Christ is our God. He is our Lord, King, and Savior. He is the giver of life and redeemer of our sins. By His grace and mercy, He has made us worthy to receive His most precious and sanctifying body and blood. May He grant that we be pleasing in our words and actions, in our thoughts and in our deeds. May what we have received be a pledge for us and obtain the pardon of our debts the forgiveness of our sins. May it also be our hope of the resurrection from the dead and new life in the kingdom of heaven, along with all who have been pleasing to you. We ask this through your grace and mercy, who live and reign forever and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Bless us, O my Lord. Amen. Bless us, O my Lord. Our Father in heaven, may your name be glorified. May our kingdom be established. Holy, holy, holy are you, Father in heaven. The heavens and earth are full of your great glory. Angels and people are crying to you. Holy, holy, holy are you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be, forever and ever, unto the ages of ages. Amen and Amen. Our Father in heaven, may your name be glorified, may your kingdom be established. Holy, holy, holy are you. The heavens and earth are full of your great glory, and angels and people are crying to you. Holy, holy, holy are you. Let us pray. May peace be with us. God has filled us with all the spiritual blessings of heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord, and has called us to share his blissful kingdom without beginning or end. Father, your divine word promised us this in his life-giving gospel, when he said to the blessed group of his disciples, Amen, Amen I say to you, 
Whoever eats my body and drinks my blood lives in me, and I in him. And I will raise him up on that last day. He shall not come to judgment, but I will pass him from death to eternal life. May he bless our assembly and purify our people who have come and been refreshed by the power of these holy, glorious, life-giving, and divine mysteries. And may we each be sealed by the living sign of the cross of our Lord, being guarded from all dangers, hidden or manifest, now and forever, unto ages of ages. Go in peace, in the name of the Lord. Thanks be to God.